HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Hello, and welcome to HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the anchor desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, an interim library director was named. Hopkinton Middle School students and teachers battled it out on the basketball courts. We have the Greyhound Friends Pet of the Month and Hopkinton Middle School hosted their annual March Talent Show. But first, for the 10th straight year, Hopkinton Police and Hopkinton Special Olympics met up for a basketball game. And once again this year, the police struggled to keep up with the very talented Special Olympic athletes. Minden, Massachusetts, and I thank you so much for this trophy. Thank you. Did you have fun out there today? Yes. You like playing basketball? Yes, and I thank you. Are you glad you beat the police today? Yes. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, it really is the highlight of our season as, uh, you know, the season begins in November, extends a few months, and the, the, with all of the community games we play, with the uh, state games that we get involved with, uh, really the highlight of the season has always been and continues to be the game against the Hopkinton Police. Uh, it's a wonderful town-wide event uh, with great support from the community, and the police have been over and above in their efforts and uh, working with our athletes. It's wonderful. Now I know all the kids have a really good time out there. Uh, how long are they talking about this game uh, leading up to it? It's, it's pretty much all they talk about uh, since uh, December rolls around because they know as the season progresses that the end of the year is going to be their big game against the police department and they're always very concerned about maintaining the winning streak that we always seem to have. So the kids are from the beginning of the season, but, but it really, the energy ramps up around the holidays. Absolutely, now the police uh, they, they came out on the short side once again. They just can't seem to get a break. Indeed, they can't get a break. Uh, I, as, I've, as I've told Chief Lee, he's gonna get these guys to be a little more active playing basketball because it's, it's a little, it's a tough sport to play if you don't play it regularly, which is why it's always a, a tough game for them against our athletes. Uh, this is a great uh, uh, game that we have with the kids. This is our 10th annual and uh, I actually think it's 11th because our first year we didn't do the pizza party. We had a magic show after so and then uh, Dino's decided that they wanted to donate the pizzas and TJ's donated salads and cookies so it's a, it's a great uh, function for these kids and our guys at the police department love it. We look forward to doing it every single year and we hope to continue it. So. Now this event always uh, looked forward to uh by the Special Olympics and the police, they must really look forward to this as well. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a challenge. We lose every year, but you know, uh, we'll have to work on our athletic skills, you know. So, uh, uh, continue to do it. We'll, hopefully next year we'll be here again. And uh, May 14th, we have a fishing derby for the kids too. So, and that will be down at the Hopkins Sportsman's Club on Lumber Street. 
Excellent. So are, is there going to be more basketball practices to maybe actually win a game one year? Or? Yeah, we have to. We'll have to uh, some of the uh, hiring at the police department, that, that may have to be part of the interview. You know, Maybe we'll have to get them out on a basketball court before they get hired with us. So, And we might have to go with some height, too. Well, as they always say, there's always next year. It's always next year. We say that every year. Thank goodness there is a next year. All right. Thanks All right, a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Chief, uh, another great year, the annual Special Olympics versus Police uh, basketball game. Uh, unfortunately, you guys came out on the short end of the game today, but uh, can you talk about the event? It just uh, seemed like a great atmosphere out there. Oh, it's a great event. It's now it's the 10th year. It's my third that I'm uh, proud to be uh, part of, but, you know, I just would like to win one, yeah, that's all. <laughs> they play hard, and they're good. They're real good. But uh, we've got a few new rookies on the... Uh, the apartment this year thought that was going to bring us a victory, but just wasn't in the cards. <laughs> now, Officer Powers had a good idea. Uh, he said that maybe you should have basketball uh, involved in, in the training or part of the uh, recruiting for the uh, new guys coming onto the squad. Absolutely. That's a great idea. I'm going to call the training council and see if we can get that in the uh, recruitment process. <laughs> Uh, now, are you guys okay? I mean, it was two tough losses this year. You, you lost the big bocce matchup to the fire department, and you lose here today. Yeah, that, that, that loss to the fire department, that's, that's under protest. <laughs> well, the same guy who blew that for us uh, missed five baskets today, so he's not involved in any more of these events. <laughs> that's Arthur Schofield. <laughs> Uh, now, is there going to be another bocce matchup coming up? Oh, yeah. I know everyone's looking for one. We're going to get some redemption. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, Chief. Thanks Thank a bunch. You. Congratulations to the Special Olympics team on yet another great victory. And a special thanks to the Hopkinton Police Department and the many donors who helped organize the great event. Last week, we showed you Library Director Ronak Hussein saying goodbye to friends and co-workers as she retired after 11 years. This week, we introduce you to the new Interim Library Director, Deborah Irvin. She was formally introduced by Town Manager Norman Kamalu at Ronak's retirement celebration. I need to... Yes. Ronak. Yeah. Everyone, please. When you think about Ronak's work here, remember her punctuation mark in terms of her stay here. I have seen many transitions in my professional life. The transition that we have experienced at the library is one of the smoothest, seamless I've ever been part of. Ronak working together with Town Hall, HR, and the library staff have helped us identify an interim temporary library director. We would not be at this point without Ronak's willingness to give of her time, <coughs> of her resources, even when she was planning and working on getting her stuff over to uh, Carolina. Uh, and I'm happy to say we have Deb uh, here with us, who is going to be the interim library director. I live in Hopkinton and I've been so excited that we're getting this new library and I've also been excited to know Ronak for a time. Library land is very small so I've seen her at meetings and occasionally have a chance to talk with her and uh, she's just done a huge amount for this town and, um, and, and for the library so I'm happy to keep her well-oiled machine um, oiled. <laughs> she has, uh, again, done so much with the staff. The staff are fantastic. They're very capable of, of doing everything all on their own. But um, I was pleased to be asked, and um, so I'll see many of you, I hope, in months to come. And I wish Ronak all the best. I'm sorry she's leaving town. Um, I've enjoyed working with her the last couple of days, and uh, I'm going to miss her. Good luck. 
For more information about the interim director, head over to our website, hcam.tv. It is now time for the Greyhound Friends Pet of the Month. This month, I was introduced to a four-year-old female Australian cattle mix named Lainey. This is a dog who, named Lainey, who when she first came in about a couple of years ago now, um, with skin and bones, she was a Greyhound cross, she was in a shelter in the Midwest. So she came in, um, she got, you know, built up to be like a regular dog. Then she went to this older lady who fed her way too much. Um, and then the vet put her on a really strict diet. And then it, it was Easter and the ham was on the counter. So she went for the ham and she wouldn't give it back. Um, and so it was a little tumultuous there. Um, so, like, I think lots of dogs who didn't get enough to eat, you know, especially when they were young, they just, they just really like to eat. Um, so we have, we do have Lainey on a diet, um, but, and she's a nice girl. She gets along with well with other dogs. I don't know how she do with cats. She's a little bit of a singular sort of dog, um, but she's cute and she's nice. I mean, if, if somebody took her and they took her like for walks and. You know, just took her out and around. She she'd lose some more weight, and but she's a cute girl. Now she's housebroken. Um, she likes other dogs. She gets along well with with other dogs. She's uh, um, and she likes to go for walks. She really does like exercise. So we we try to have her go out with when the volunteers come in here. She goes out multiple times a day. She just needs someone who can take her and really spend more time with her. And um, but no, she's a nice girl. She's good. She's about four years old, um, a greyhound something or other mix, uh, but uh, but basically sweet, friendly, good companion, uh, just hard to adopt out chubby dogs. Right now, you can find Lainey at the Bay Path Humane Society. She has since been transferred from Greyhound Friends over to Bay Path and is available for adoption. Coming up next on HCAM News, we have highlights from the Hopkinton Middle School students versus teachers basketball game. The Hailers swimming and diving season came to an end with their annual banquet, as well as so much more. Stay tuned. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control, a family owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. And by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. We are the girls from Girl Scout Troop 72969 from Hopkington. We would like to thank Mr. Trojan for the awesome tour of the H Camp Studio. If you are interested in fun and adventurous field trips, we recommend one, to learn a Girl Scout Troop. And two, visiting H Camp to see how local television is created and produced. We also want to give a shout out to Kalala Supermarket to thank Dale for our Girl Scout Troop tour. And for always giving us a space to set up our cookie booth. Welcome back to HCAM News. In this week's sports highlights, the Hopkinton High School swimming and diving team hosted their end of the season banquet. But first, Hopkinton Middle School teachers and students met up on the basketball court for the 15th year in a row to benefit Project Just Because. Hopkinton Middle School students and teachers battled it out on the basketball court for Project Just Because. The organization provides programs and services for families, children, and seniors. The teachers have won the game since it started about 15 years ago. Could they do it again? Teachers led the students after one quarter, 19 to 11. At the half, it was 32 to 24 teachers.
students cut the lead to five heading into the fourth. It was a great game, but in the end, the teachers took the victory 71 to 58. So a uh, great game out there. It looks like the students gave you a challenge this year. Uh, they sure did. They sure did. Uh, we've run this event. We've won this event 15 years in a row now since I've been here, since we started this event. But the kids gave me gave us a really good game today. They really shot the three well. That hurt us. They got pretty close at the end there, but uh, we pulled away as always. Could you talk about the event uh, today and what it was all about? Yeah, it's uh, to benefit uh, Project Just Because and uh, the HMS Best Buddies program, which I am the uh, faculty advisor for. So it's a really great event. Last year we raised uh, just about $500. And I'm thinking based on the crowd we saw here today, we're going to be at that number or even more. So all that money will go to Project Just Because and the Best Buddies program here. All right, how did it feel hitting the floor again? Oh, it was good. It was good. Uh, we're getting old, that's for sure. <laughs> all right, thanks a, thanks a bunch. After another tremendous season, the Hopkinton Hillers swimming and dive team held their end of the season banquet. Awards and prizes were given out as the great season officially came to an end. Uh, so this year we had 57 kids on the team, and we really were not sure where we were going to be at. Uh, we graduated, as you saw last year, a lot of veterans, a lot of top swimmers. We had 22 new kids come in, some are freshmen, some new upperclassmen, and we quickly learned that we had an incredible amount of depth on our team. We finished the season second place in TBL, six-time TBL meet champions. Co-ed, we were six and one, girls were five and one boys were two and five, and I'm pretty sure we were six for six on prom dates. <laughs> A new stat we kept this year, 354 is how many times Kylie said literally, and 287 how many times she said actually. <laughs> new team records. <laughs> I got more coming too. <laughs> The girls were at South Central sectional runner-ups for the first time in program history. And this, By one point. <laughs> girls team will be recognized as the National Scholar Team Gold Award winners for the eighth year in a row with an average GPA of 3.986. Last year's mark where we were fifth in the nation. But our true, our true character showed at the end, uh, and a lot has been said throughout the state about what our team does, not only winning, but in losing. We continue to be that team that's looked upon in the South Central as such a strong team with a commitment to excellence, with a commitment to sportsmanship. We are continually being asked to compete against teams throughout the area for one sole purpose, not so they can beat up on us anymore, so they are swimming the best. Congratulations to the middle school teachers for staying undefeated and also to the Hillers swimming and diving team on a great season. Hopkinton Middle School recently hosted their annual March talent show. Here is a glimpse at the many talented student performers. <laughs>
Vivian Yi reciting Pi. Ooh, Pi. It's not that kind of pie. Oh, eight, eight, two, one, four, eight. Oh, six, six, four, seven. Oh, oh eight, six, four, one, three, two, eight, two, three. Oh, six, six, four, seven. Oh, nine, three, eight, four. The Middle School Talent Show is one of the many programs you can catch coming up on the HCAM channels. To tell you what else to expect, here is Courtney with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, March 25th at 8 p.m., Deb Thomas joins the Hopkinton Coffee Break hosts to discuss the Girls on the Run program. Basically, it is an, um, an after-school program, primarily, that runs for 10 to 12 weeks, mm -hmm. that its primary goal and vision is to inspire young girls to be all that they can be. On Saturday, March 26th at 1.30 p.m., it's girls basketball versus Notre Dame Academy and their semifinal game. 
On Monday, March 28th at 7 p.m., audience members take the stage for open mic in a new Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. On Thursday, March 31st at 8.30 p.m., open mic at the HCA premieres with Jerry Shea performing We're waiting for a better time Waiting for a clear view Hoping one day there'll be time to think about me and you on Friday, April 1st at 9 p.m., Sarah Duckett shares how and why she started the Hopkinton Independent on a new Meet Your Neighbor. In those days, um, I had to physically take out a floppy disk and uh, the 11 by 17 pages. On Sunday, April 3rd at 10 a.m., the planning board meeting from March 28th will air. And on HCAM Ed, the 6th grade spring concert, 7th grade spring concert, and 8th grade spring concert will air. Check hcam.tv slash ed for dates and times. If you want to know about these HCAM programs and more, check out hcam.tv slash connect and subscribe to our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to stay up to date with the latest Hopkinton happenings, take a look at our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care and thank you for watching.